Welcome to a gentle shoulder opening practice. Inhaling to take the arms overhead and exhaling, bringing palms together at the heart center. We begin setting our intention for our practice, the sacred space of yoga, connecting mind, body, breath. Inhaling arms overhead, we'll stretch that right arm down towards the earth, extending the left arm high and breathing into the left side of the body. Deep breathing here, opening up the left side of the body, breathing into the left hip, the left lung, the left rib cage. Dropping the weight of the left knee, settling the left sit bone heavily to the earth and reaching even just a little bit higher up through that left arm, inhaling to extend up and over to the other side. Now it's the right knee that's heavy the right sit bone grounded, the right arm reaching, heart high. Deep breathing here. We're gonna wrap the right elbow underneath the left elbow in Garuda arms, eagle arms. Here we squeeze the elbows in toward the midline and extend them forward, the hands forward away from the face. And so we can focus the breath on the back side of the lungs, the space between the shoulder blades opening up with the breath. We can check in with the neck, maybe turn the head gently from side to side, relax the jaw, relax the forehead. Inhaling, we're gonna take the right arm high and bend the right elbow. And then taking the left arm up to gently take that right elbow a little higher. So left fingers draw the right elbow high. And again, we can check in with the neck, turning the head gently from side to side. We're focusing on relaxing the right shoulder completely, letting the right hand fall, using the left fingertips gently on that right elbow, tugging it upward, surrendering in the right shoulder. And the right tricep muscle. And that left arm can drop back down, elbow bending, and now the palm faces away from the body. Fingertips spreading, maybe the fingertips make their way toward one another as the left elbow drops and the right elbow rises. Breathing deeply. Extending the elbows away from each other. Checking in with the neck, the jaw, the face. Spreading the fingers. Releasing at the elbows. Floating the arms away from each other. The left elbow will eventually wrap underneath the right back to eagle arms. Squeezing the elbows in towards each other. Scooping them forward and up. Hands away from the face, breathing into the space between the shoulder blades. Inhaling and exhaling deeply. Breathing into the back side of the body. The leg bones fall, the tailbone is heavy, the pelvis is neutral. Breathing into the space between the shoulder blades. Checking in with the neck. Slowly transitioning, the left arm rises, elbow bends, hand falls behind. We'll gently use the right fingers to draw the left elbow high. And we're gonna be careful about how we access that top elbow, checking in with the head and neck, making sure we're not dropping the weight of the right hand on top of that skull, we want to keep the neck spacious, opening up that left tricep, left shoulder, transitioning to extend the right fingers up the back, palm facing away from the body. I'll rotate here so that we can be clear. One palm is facing away from the body, one palm is facing the body, 
the fingers are spreading, and we're gonna use our hands against the back to separate the elbows one from the other. It doesn't matter how close the fingers are to one another, you don't even need a strap. Releasing slowly, we'll take both hands, interlace the fingers as we can, and extend the arms behind the back, relaxing the shoulders completely. Inhaling and exhaling deeply into the shoulders here. Maybe the head falls even a little bit more heavily. Checking in with the neck, the tops of the shoulders. Again, the, head, the hips are neutral, the pelvis is neutral. The leg bones are falling. Arms stretching slowly away from the body. Breathing deeply in and out through the nose. Releasing the arms. We'll let them rest at the leg bones for a moment. We'll move into the neck. Letting the arm bones fall heavily. The head slowly rolls from side to side like a pendulum. Very gentle. Very compassionate with the neck. Gentle movements, just exactly as it feels right to you. Rolling the head from side to side. Maybe it feels good to complete the circle, exploring the back space. Maybe it feels better to just keep that pendulum motion, exploring the head's movement, the neck, gentle release from side to side. Very gently exploring the neck, continuing to breathe deeply, surrendering to the weight of the skull. With the next breath in, taking the arms overhead, we'll interlace the fingers and rotate the palms towards the ceiling. We're gonna find that long line from the crown of the head to the tailbone, and we're gonna extend upward beyond the crown of the head through the palms, dropping the pinky fingers back towards the wall behind you, rotating the head from side to side, opening up the armpits, letting the shoulders be relaxed, Expansive, arm bones lengthening. And then we're gonna release the arm bones and take a hold of the left forearm and draw it across the body. Breathing into the left shoulder and the left upper arm bone, we're gonna rotate the head towards the left. Breathing deeply into that left shoulder, gently encouraging the length of that left arm across the body. Relaxing the left shoulder, rotating the head to, towards the shoulder, just as long as that feels okay, and reversing after another few breaths here, exploring the right shoulder. We're gonna continue to extend that right arm across the body, gently drawing it across the body, breathing into the right shoulder, rotating the head to face, the right shoulder gently. Only exploring these movements as they feel right to you. Staying with the breath. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose, coming back to that oceanic yogic breath. Taking your time here, bringing palms together at the heart and resting the hands back toward the leg bones, simply observing sensations in the body. The flow of the breath, the weight of the bones, the sensations in the neck and the shoulders, eventually transitioning up onto your hands and knees. We'll begin to move into a cat-cow motion, 
attempting to neutralize the spine, inhaling, we tuck the toes and exhaling, we round the spine, pressing to the tops of the feet. Inhaling, we tuck the toes, exhaling, we round, head heavy. We're continuing to melt into the earth on the inhale. And as we exhale, we press down and rise up at the same time, backside of the heart lifting on the exhale, heart melting towards the earth on the exhale, pressing back to a downward facing dog on an exhale here, spreading fingers, tailbone high, allowing the heels to drop towards the earth, opening up the shoulders, the armpits, head heavy, tail pulling away from the fingers, deep breathing here, Releasing the skull, releasing the neck. Deep oceanic breathing, knees coming back towards the mat, perhaps resting on a blanket. We'll rotate to twist, right arm reaching high. Exhaling, scooping down, maybe some support for the right side of the head in the form of a block or pillow. Rolling the right shoulder towards the earth and the left shoulder back away from the floor, rolling the left shoulder back towards the left ear, relaxing the hips, relaxing the leg muscles, relaxing the low back, maybe the left arm floats to the sky, maybe the left elbow bends and we drop the arm behind the back, whatever feels right to you as you explore a twist at the top of the spine, rolling the left shoulder over the right shoulder. Eventually, the left palm takes its place on the mat. We'll inhale to come back up and slowly open to the right. Right leg extends to the sky. Right arm, sorry, right leg to the floor. Extending it long, right arm to the sky. Lifting up and out of that left shoulder while dropping the right leg heavily to the floor. Heavy right leg. Breathing deeply here. Opening up across the right shoulder, across the right hip. We're releasing in the right hip as the right leg drops. Reversing now, left arm to the sky, big stretch here up and out of the right shoulder, the right wrist, dropping the left ear towards the earth or some support, rolling the left ear, left, sorry, rolling the right shoulder back as the left shoulder drops. Melting the right shoulder back over the left shoulder, relaxing the hips, relaxing the thighs, Relaxing the face, relaxing the head, the neck, melting the shoulders in this twist. Maybe that top arm wants to reach towards the sky. Maybe the elbow bends and falls behind the back. Taking your time as you explore the twist, exactly as it feels right to you. Rolling the right shoulder back over the left shoulder. Deep oceanic breathing. Slowly coming back, pressing into that right palm to come back up. And opening to the left, left leg extends, left arm to the sky. Rolling open up and out of the right shoulder, the left leg falls heavily to the floor. Releasing across the left hip. Expanding across the shoulders, big stretch. Opening the left hand, pressing into the right fingers. Checking in with the neck. Deep breathing here. Transitioning back to all fours. Perhaps a couple cat cows here. 
neutralizing in the spine. Inhaling as you melt, tucking the toes. Exhaling as you round, lifting the back of the heart. And taking your time here, reconnecting breath and movement. Eventually, we'll press into a downward facing dog here, dropping the skull, spreading the fingers, lifting the tailbone. Heels are heavy. Maybe the knees are soft to protect the hamstrings, but the heels are dropping, the head is dropping, the fingers are spreading. We're finding as much space from the fingertips to the tailbone as possible. Opening up the shoulders, breathing into the back of the heart. Deep oceanic breathing here. Coming slowly back to sit upon the heels, rolling the shoulders back down away from the ears, allowing the crown of the head to find its place atop the spine, taking a few breaths, simply observing and transitioning slowly to a seated position. We'll extend the left leg long, taking the right knee over the left knee. So we're essentially attempting to cross the knees at the midline. Extending the right elbow high again and the left elbow downward. We spread the fingers as we did earlier in our practice, taking Gomukhasana arms. And eventually, we can consider extending the torso forward. We might choose to bring some support underneath that right knee, right thigh, perhaps even underneath the forehead as we drop the torso forward. If we drop the torso forward, we're breathing here in a supported forward fold in Gomukhasana cow pose, extending the elbows away from each other again, getting this gentle stretch in the hips and down underneath in the hamstring. We can alleviate and modify our forward folds by lifting the sit bones up onto some support, maybe in the form of a pillow or bolster. And we'll transition to the other side, carefully crossing the left knee over the midline, bringing some support for the forehead. Left elbow is rising as the left knee is crossing. Once again, we can use the support underneath the forehead to help extend the torso as well as reach the elbows away from each other in this forward folding cow pose, accessing the hips gently and continuing to work with our shoulders. Deep oceanic breathing here, continuing to return our attention again and again to the breath. Slowly rising, we'll transition once again now to release completely forward, bringing some support to our skull, however it feels right to you, making sure the elbows are releasing completely towards the earth, shoulders falling away from each other. Maybe it will make sense to use some support underneath the knees, alleviating unnecessary strain in the hips or the knees.
rolling the forehead perhaps gently upon the support. Maybe that support is your fists even or some other pillow. Taking a few more breaths here as it feels right to you in this gentle, surrendered, forward fold, releasing hips, low back, spine. Continuing to breathe ever more deeply in and out through the nose. Eventually transitioning to lay onto your back. Taking your time adjusting to lay flat on the back, nice and neutral, using blankets or removing cushioning as needed. We'll begin by laying our bodies in a nice neutral and long position and then assessing if you feel that you'd like to complete your practice with a final twist. Feel free to move into that unless you're already ready to drop into Shavasana. Final twist can be done very simply by bending one knee and crossing it over, beginning with the right knee dropping the right leg over the midline and finding a release across the hips and the shoulders. Continuing to breathe deeply, transitioning to even out, taking your twist in the other direction. Dropping the weight of the leg bones, the weight of the skull, the weight of the arm bones. Maybe using some support as needed underneath a knee or a shoulder. And completing, rolling back to neutral on an exhale, finding your way toward the pose of your choice in Shavasana. One option, of course, is to release flat back or place some support underneath the knees. Another option is to roll to place your legs up a wall if you have that kind of access to the wall space or perhaps even some chair. You can put your lower leg bones up onto some support for a little gentle inversion as you drop into Shavasana. Shavasana is the most sacred of poses, not to be skipped, but instead to be embraced, taking just a few minutes to surrender, dropping the weight of the bones to support, and inviting this time to be one of rewiring for your nervous system. Allowing the sound of the bell to draw you ever more deeply into the sound of your own breath and the sensations of the body as you surrender to gravity. Staying here as long as it feels just right to you. Namaste.